Welcome ladies and gentlemen to the experiment today which is called uh, liquids and conductors. Our aim for, for today is to try and understand why certain liquids conduct electricity. Now once again as per normal, uh, the experiment writer will come up in a minute if you like to pause the video, copy it down uh, and then you can commence the experiment. Okay, now that you've, con uh, you've written down the experiment right up, what we've got here is five different liquids. We have methylated spirits, kerosene, a sugar solution, a salt solution, and a magnesium sulfate solution. And what we're going to do is to try and test the conductivity of each of those liquids. And to do that, I have a very simple circuit here that will light up. Uh, if the particular liquid is conductive. If it doesn't light up, then it doesn't conduct electricity. So let's start off with our methylated spirits first. Now, right here, I have a beaker of water, and that beaker of water is to rinse off the liquid once the test has been done. So our first one is methylated spirits. You can see there we've got no light on so we'll make sure that we wash that off just checking that it works again which it does let's try our second one now which is kerosene so we'll put in into the kerosene once again we have no light there given off so we'll wash both of those off let's then have a look at sugar and see whether a sugar solution works oh hands in the way there uh, no nothing for the sugar solution at this stage so we'll just leave those in there for a minute so so far uh, we have nothing which is not much of an experiment really is it uh, let's have a look at salt oh yes we have a very very small amount of light being given off there so that shows you that salt does conduct you can also see that there's a bit of uh, bubbling around one of the electrodes so uh, salt works and finally magnesium sulfate which is our last one and oh just a very small amount of light there given off but once again um, you can see the bubbles that are coming off the electrodes so that's the experiment there ladies and gentlemen now what will be your job for your conclusion is to try and find a pattern of what what liquids conduct electricity is there a pattern is there a trend in there are there certain liquids that are um, will allow electricity to be conducted and then why does it conduct just to give you a little hint as i did with my class obviously a salt solution is a mixture of uh, table salt and water that's sodium chloride uh, and water sugar is just a basic sugar solution and magnesium sulfate is some magnesium sulfate that has been placed into water um, and once again once you've had a look at this any concerns please see your science teacher thank you very much